Hello students, in this video we'll discuss an estimator for the population variance. And so recall our setup, we have a population, a large population of n. And of this population of n, this might be like the whole world or every single college student or every American, we have a sample. We have a sample of that population. Okay? And that sample has size little n, and of course, little n is much, much smaller than big n. That's our sample of this population. And so what we're after trying to figure out some properties of a random variable, right? And let's let x be a random variable with mean mu and variance sigma squared, and we're assuming that every person in this population, uh, x is measuring some characteristic of every person in this population, and they are all uh, standardized in the sense that they will all have the mean of mu and all of the variance of sigma squared. So we're going to let x1 through xn be these samples. These are the random samples. So let's let x1, x2 be independent. random samples with the same distribution as x. Okay, this can be any number of things. This can be the amount, x could be the amount of calories that a person consumes every day. This could be the amount of um, water that someone's drinking every day, the amount that someone reads, the amount of time that someone spends on social media every day. It can be any number of things. The assumption is that if we take enough samples, that sample should be representative of the whole population. That's the idea. Now, we have from a previous video, we know that a statistic, that x bar, which is x1 plus x2 plus xn, I average my sample, I average these random variables, is a good estimate, is an unbiased estimate, is unbiased, and we'll, just talk, we'll talk about bias a little bit later, is an unbiased estimate of mu. And I'm going to use this x bar to find an unbiased estimate, or a good estimate of sigma squared. And so what I'll do is the following, I'm going to define, I'm going to define capital S squared, a new random variable. It's a function of these xi's. So remember that a statistic is a function of x1, x2, x3, xn. It's a function of the sample random variables. What is this statistic? It's going to be 1 over n minus 1. So n, little n has to be bigger than 1 for this to make sense. The sum, j goes from 1 to n of xj minus x bar squared, okay? I claim that this is an estimate of the variance sigma squared. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to find the expected value of this to see if it's a good estimate of sigma squared, if it's, an, if it's a biased estimate of sigma squared or an unbiased estimate of sigma squared. So on average, what's the statistic telling me? On average, what does it do? Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do now is one sort of standard trick. The standard trick is when I foil this out, I'm going to have three. I'm going to have three separate terms. So if we foil this out, this is one over n minus one. The sum j goes from one to n of x j squared minus two x j x bar. Just I'm just foiling now, and then plus x bar quantity squared. Okay. Now. We can simplify this because x bar does not depend on j. So whenever there's an x bar and no j, I can pull that out of the sum. That means there's going to be n copies of those things. So what this is going to be is this is going to be 1 over n minus 1. And then the sum, j goes from 1 to n of x j squared. And now if I sum over j, I'm just going to have the sum of the xj times negative 2 times x bar. The sum of the xj is just the numerator of this. If I add up all the xj, that's, just the, that's the numerator. So the numerator is going to be n times x bar. So this is going to be a minus 2nx bar. And this will be n copies of x bar, x bar squared rather, x bar squared, and then n x bar squared. So if we simplify this, we're going to get 1 over 
n minus 1. The sum, j goes from 1 up to n of x j squared. And then I'm going to have negative 2 n x bar squared and then n x bar squared. So that's going to be what? That is going to give us just a total of negative n x bar squared squared. And that is outside the summation. So I'm only summing what? Everything over here is multiplied by um, 1 over n minus 1. But this n times x bar squared is not in the summation. So now we're going to use an important fact that the variance of a random variable x is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared which if we rearrange this will tell me that the variance of x plus the expected value of x, x squared is the expected value of x squared. So if we were to compute the expected value of this, what do we get? So the expected value of s squared, I can pull this 1 over n minus 1 out. Then I'm going to have the sum j goes from 1 to n of the expected value of x j squared. And then I'm going to have minus n, the expected value of x bar squared. That's what the expected value is. Now we can use our result that the expected value of x squared is the variance of x plus the expected value squared. So over here, the variance of xj is sigma squared. And then the square of the mean is plus mu squared. So I'm going to sum up n copies of sigma squared plus mu squared. Then over here, what will we have? We'll have a negative n. And then what is the expected value of x bar squared? It's the variance of x bar, which is sigma squared over n from, the previous, uh, from our previous videos. And then, the ex then I have to add the expected value of x bar squared. So that's going to be a plus mu squared. Okay. So what we'll have over here is we're going to have 1 over n minus 1. And then we'll have n copies of sigma squared. So n sigma squared. n copies of mu squared. And then I'm going to have what over here? I have a ne negative n over n. That's just going to be a negative sigma squared. And then a negative n mu squared. Negative n mu squared. So it looks like the n mu squared are going to cancel out over here. And what do I have? I have a common factor of sigma squared. So this over here is really just what? It's really sigma squared times n minus 1. Now the n minus 1 cancels with that. And we see the expected value of s squared is just sigma squared. So what this tells us is that on average, we expect s squared to be sigma squared. We expect this to be a good estimator of the population variance if we have this sample population variance. So this tells us that s squared is an unbiased estimator of the population variance. Moreover, it's important to know that we have this 1 over n minus 1 here. It's not classically an average, it's a little bit, it's scaled a little bit less than an average. It's 1 over n minus 1. That's actually an important distinction to make here. It's not a pure average of the differences between xj and x bar. So we now have a good estimate of the population variance, and it's this unbiased estimator, s squared. Thank you very much.